Our dog's perception of dryland mushing sports encompasses the entire experience from getting the harness on to finishing the run and getting back into the car. We want the dog to see the harness and be engaged and excited to get the harness on. We want them to have a say and be a part of the experience to help start our runs off with good attitude and excitement. We always want our dogs to want more. In this video, we will go over how I get the harness on and off my dogs in an easy and stress-free manner. I'm Chelsea with Positive Futures Dog Training and Behavior. I'm happy to have you back on my channel today. When getting a harness on and off the dog, I use the same under cue that we established for starting our right and left directional cues. This behavior is fun for the dog and has a high history of reinforcement, so the dog enjoys performing this trick, which makes it useful in setting a good attitude for getting the harness on. With the dog underneath me, I can easily align the harness to go over the dog's head. When you are first starting out, you will want to use lots of food to help the dog learn that the harness sliding over the top of the head, both on and off, is a good thing. With the harness in one hand, you can hold the treat in the other hand. As you slide the harness over your dog's head, you can deliver the treat. If your dog is worried about this process, try to break it down into smaller pieces, rewarding the dog for just moving the harness towards them, a little bit closer, and then finally over the head. If your dog has a lot of fur or neck skin, be sure to pull it all up and out of the harness. We want the harness to sit directly on the breastbone. Again, if your dog is unsure of this process, move slow and feed treats while handling your dog. Once your dog's head is through the neck, you can easily grab the legs and gently lift them up and into the X-back harness. Avoid lifting the leg too high as we don't wanna overextend the shoulder and cause injury. If your dog is worried about this process, be sure to feed treats after handling each leg. If you're using a halfback harness, this process will be even easier. Once your dog's head is through a halfback harness, you can easily grab the straps and clip them and you're ready to go. When I take the harness off of my dog after the run, I repeat the same process. If your dog has a lot of extra neck fur and skin like Lennon does, you can see there's a considerable amount of tug as I remove the harness. Be sure to move slowly and reward your dog with treats so that they learn this handling is okay. During the process, if you notice your dog trying to avoid you, run away, lick their lips, tuck their tail, or stiffen up, it's a sign that they are stressed. You will need to break the process down into smaller pieces and reward them for each step. This could be as small as asking them for under and just holding the harness while you give treats, or asking them to stand under you and reward them while you touch their legs. We want a happy and confident dog who is eager for their harness to go on so they continue to enjoy this sport with us for a long time to come.